Hi everybody, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a strategic advisor and I want to chat with you about how to better align yourself to your vision in a strategic sense. So when you hear the word strategy, often we think of something really big and elaborate and complicated and difficult and detailed. And yes, a strategy can be all of those things. But if you think of your strategy as something that you could almost fit on a little index card, something that you could execute immediately, that too can be the approach to strategizing toward your vision. So recently I was meeting with a person in my network and we were talking about her business. We were talking about the vision that she has for herself in her career professionally. Now, anytime that you talk to a professional, when you think of your professional endeavor, it also automatically includes your personal life, your whole life, everything that you want to be, the people you want to reach, the difference that you want to make as a person while you're living on this earth. Your business, your profession is an expression of who you are and is a way of doing good. So when I talked to people, when I spoke to this professional specifically, one of the things that we wanted to do is to take a snapshot and to create an easy access strategy that could literally fit on an index card. So what do you do? First step is to ask yourself again, why am I in business? What am I trying to accomplish? What are the pathways that I'm taking to get to that goal, to get to that objective, to get to that vision and outcome? So it's really important to refine and realign yourself to your vision. I think particularly now as we are continuing to recover and come out of what has been a very challenging 2020 and 2021 so far. We are needing to refine and realign. Where are you heading? What do you want to do? You can define it and distill it down to three words. For this professional, it was all about connecting. It was all about building connection and all about creating impact through connecting. So that's first things first. Second, make fact-based decisions. Look at what it is that you know for sure. Who are you, who are your competitors, and what is your unique offering? How do you approach that outcome in a unique way? Again, defining what it means for you to be in business is really important. You are more, more than likely going to have competitors. When I think of competitors, I always think of people who do exactly what I do in a different way. And I need to know what it is they're doing differently. I need to know how they approach things differently, not just so I can be competitive and be on par with them, but also so that when I work with somebody who needs their specific approach, I can refer them to this other professional. So from that space, from, your, from fact finding, make decisions that you can actually execute on. Let me give you a very specific example. Look at your outlets, look at your channels where you're communicating. Are you communicating on Instagram, LinkedIn? Do you have a website? Do these channels say what it is that you do in a very specific and very direct manner? Third, be ready and be nimble. Stay flexible with your audience. Stay flexible with your vision and your goal. We have used the word pivot so much over the last year and a half, but it's important to remember what pivoting is. It's making micro adjustments as you go along toward your vision. Think of your vision, your objective, your goal as your North Star. You keep an eye on it and you navigate with it in mind, but you continue to pivot and move, meeting the needs that arise on a daily and weekly basis. So let's recap really quickly. A strategy can fit on an index card. Refine and realign your vision. Be very specific. Make fact-based decisions. So do the fact-finding and understand what exactly you need to do to meet that vision. Stay nimble and ready. 
remember that you're continuing to pivot and make micro adjustments on a daily and weekly basis to stay on course with your vision. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, if you have questions or you want to dive into this a little bit and get your strategy on an index card, as always, if you need some support or would like to chat this through, get your vision and your strategy on an index card, message me.